Attractive people are good sociopaths. Yeah. You know. I know. <laughs> I'm with you. Rich Lamborn, Olympic gold medalist and beach volleyball super coach. Yeah. Coach of? Taylor Crab, Jake Gibb. Would you rather your players be great passers or great setters? I think uh, the two go hand in hand, but I would rather they be great passers simply because you have to do that first before you can set. Rich, this is lightning round. Oh, it's lightning we round? Need, we need quick oh. answers. <laughs> we, I ain't got time for this. All right. Would you rather Jake be a great server or a great blocker? Great server. Would you rather Taylor be a great server or a great digger? Great server. Would you rather them be faster or jump higher? Faster. Would you rather them be taller or more agile? More agile. Would you rather them pass low or pass high? Rather than pass well. Set low or set high? Set high. Would you rather your players be athletic or smart? Smart. Most important thing to bring to a tournament? Uh, a good attitude. <laughs> That's the daintiest thing I've ever heard you say. All other stats remaining as they are now, would you rather your players side out at 60% or get three aces per set? Uh, three aces a set. Would you rather Taylor side out at 60% or get eight digs per set? Eight digs per set. Would you rather Jake side out at 60% or get three blocks per set? Three blocks a set. In practice, do you want your players to win at all costs or sacrifice the win to work on what's broken? To work on what's broken. Lift fast or lift heavy? Are you asking me or my players? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say lift heavy, I'm gonna tell my players to lift fast. Strength or rehab style? Uh, rehab style. I have a 42-year-old on my team. <laughs> How many times a week should they practice in preseason? Four. Most important lower body exercise? Squats. Most important upper body exercise? Squats. Favorite stretch? Pigeon? Is that a name? That's what Kyle said. Yeah. That's a good one for the glutes and every, everything in there, the low back. I gotta go hip flexor. Yeah, that's yeah. 100 that's, I'm not, you didn't ask if I'd do it. <laughs> you asked what's the most important. Receive a jump serve or a float serve. Jump serve. Dinner before game day. Yes. What is my dinner before <laughs> game day? Yeah, I, I think a good uh, mixture of protein and carbs, you know, like some meat and veggies. Breakfast on game day. Eggs, maybe a little bit of High quality toast. <laughs> High quality, High quality toast. toast. Some good bread, some good wheat bread. Nice, nice. Too much time in Europe. Favorite snack between matches? Nah, some kind of bar. I like uh, bulletproof bars. Ooh, see? Sponsor call out. Yeah. You show up late to the tournament and you guys have five minutes to warm up. What do you do? We hurry up. <laughs> when the ref makes a bad call, do you let him have it or do you immediately move on? Yes. <laughs> You want to let them know about it, but you got to get to the next play also. Have you ever played a beach tournament? Professionally? Yes, I've played on the AVP once. My professional record is 0-2 in matches. Who is you or your team's dream sponsor? Dream sponsor? Well, we got a pretty good one in uh, Lululemon. And by we, I mean they. <laughs> Let's get a little more trickle-down gear to the coach, you know what I'm saying? When you were playing indoor and winning Olympics, how long did it take you mentally and emotionally to recover from bad losses? It took a while, depending on the, the gravity of the loss, where it was in the tournament. Uh, sometimes it was quickly. In 2012, we lost in the first round of playoffs, and we got fifth in London. And that took a long time to get over. We talking weeks, months? Yeah, probably weeks, and then any other time you thought about the you know, country of England. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>